Um, I rang the bell, but the monk at the door doesn't seem to want to show me in. There are rules. Rules and traditions to respect here. Respect. <laughs> what rules? What traditions? That some people are less worthy than others. Okay. So how does that monk up there make an opinion about my worthiness by just looking at me? It, it is... it is not a question to ask, my sister. You're telling me that I'm not worthy to enter your monastery? I didn't say. No. I just... I just wash dirty laundry, that's all. <laughs> Yes, you did say that. You implied I wasn't worthy. Femina inconcessus. <laughs> I don't understand Latin. Latin, like the birds. Erythacus rubecula, picus viridis, merula alba. You speak Latin, then? Oh, monk's Latin. Pigeon Latin. Hmm. You seem to know the Latin names of birds. <laughs> pretty birds. Pretty birds. Picus viridis? Woodpecker. How about Erythacus rubicula? Robin red breast. And Merula alba? White raven, my sister. Femina inconsusus? Women. Forbidden. <laughs> uh, no. It... Right. I get it. Because I'm a woman, I'm forbidden access to the monastery. And now I understand. That's the rule, sister. I can't change the rules. Of course, brother. Women are the source of all sin. Isn't that so? What is a Marula Alba? A rare bird. <laughs> it can never be seen as it is as white as snow. They say that when a man sees it, his mind clears, and his intelligence grows and grows. There seem to be a lot of birds around here. Yes, yes, but the only one that interests me is the Merula Alba. I'm going now. I'll be back soon. What? Colonel? Ah, Miss Walker. Our route is still long and my friend is suffering. I don't know what to do. Siberia is hellish cold at this time of year, Miss Walker. And journeys take an age. Your friend isn't in the prime of youth anymore. Colonel, you don't have one of those whistles for making bird noises among your many treasures here, do you? A bird call. 
Why, I sell them by the truckload during the hunting season. I've got a whole collection of them. I think I've got just what you need somewhere. Aha! Thanks for all your help, Colonel. The pleasure is all mine, Miss Walker. You hear? Can you hear? The Merula Alba. It is calling to me. Calling to me. Um, good evening, sir. I need something else to activate it.
Nothing I can do. It's locked. Hello? Anybody there? Uh, excuse me. What? A woman? Women are expressly prohibited. What the devil are you doing here, woman? My name's Kate Walker. I'm a lawyer from New York. Excuse me. But I absolutely must speak to you, and your monks wouldn't let me in. Miss Walker, your female presence in this dwelling of monastic retreat is unwelcome. It is very... troubling. Please leave quickly. Please forgive my slightly cavalier methods to get to see you, Father, but my cause is just, I assure you. I have no need of assurance, my girl. Remember, you are here beneath the gaze of the Almighty. I have a friend who is really sick. In the village, I was told that- We must all brave the ordeals the Lord sends us, my child. My friend is named Hans Varlberg. He has devoted his life to making fantastic mechanical machines. His automaton soothed the harsh daily labor of the people of his day, and amused them Entertained them. He's a genius inventor, you know. Hmm. An inventor, you say? The inspiration of such people is often cowed to humility before the marvels of God's own creation. I have come to ask the assistance of the priest healer in the monastery. My friend is very unwell, and very old. Sometimes a body weary of life refuses treatment. That is why we here tend to the soul. From what element is your friend suffering? A high fever. It started with a kind of fit. He felt... Sometimes we have to just accept the inevitable, my child, and resign ourselves to the call of time. You don't understand. Maybe Hans is old and frail, but he has but one desire to continue his journey. We have to learn how to meet our fate, my child. This is God's will. My friend needs treatment. You are the only one for miles around who can give him the care he needs. I need a sign from the Almighty or else I can do nothing for your friend. I am sorry, Miss Walker. I really need your help, Father. You're our only hope. My girl. I attend only to extreme cases, grave illness, and madness. But this is an extreme case, Father. There is a rule, Miss Walker. You must respect it. Bring me the imprint of your friend's suffering. I know what you were telling me. I brought the shroud. Show me, my child. Right. We will go search for your friend. 